Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Pumpkin Cup Handmade. This is Gina. I am here to share my latest. This is a baptism journal for a young boy, eight-year-old, and this is what I've come up with. It's got a eyelet and a twine wrapped around twice, closure, muslin spine, this beautiful Tim Holtz pattern paper, remember, and on the twine is a little clock button. So we wrap, unwrap it, and we go inside. Okay, let's see if I'm remotely in frame. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Library card with a clock face. Library pocket. There we go. And a library card on the inside with some gel pen lines on the back. And we've got a corner tuck with a picture that he can color and then journal on the back side. A side tuck with a picture of a temple. You can turn it on. And an index card that says prayerful. You can turn it on that. And then in between the pattern papers, I have two pages of just white paper that you can journal on, or draw on, or however he wants to use it. This, I have a book that has different, I don't know, it was an odd book. <laughs> I got it because it has butterflies and I wanted to fussy cut them out. But some pages have not butterflies, but that's okay. So I hinged them together with a piece of pattern paper and then sewed it. So on the other side we have a belly band with a little die cut of lines and tucked under there we have a booklet that has a side tuck with an index card and a journal card with some bugs. It says Thanksgiving. This comes from Mary Lou, one of her kits, a journal card and a popsicle journal card, because why not? Why not have a popsicle? Tucks back under there, a little stopper. Then we've got two more pages of white paper. I fussy cut this out and then tucked a tag behind it. Love that image. Oops. And then two more pages of white paper. Then we have a dot to dot that I've sewn to the page. And then we have a CD case, which has a journal card with a scripture on one side, and then you can journal on the other. That's in there. Then you flip it open, and we have this image. Getting the uh, receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost and a little bit of washi. Let me have two more pages of white paper and the center of the book. So it's two more pages. If I can turn the page, oh my goodness. And then we have another CD case with another scripture journal card. This comes from Mary Lou. And it's backed onto, what is this? Watercolor paper. So it's nice, thick, sturdy. Tucks in there. And then it flips out. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And then two more pages. And on this side, we have a picture of a little boy getting baptized, and it's held with this cute little airplane paper clip. You can see that. There, a little airplane. It's just kind of tucked under. You can remove it, or it, you don't have to. It can stay there. A tag tucked in there. And then it closes simply like that. Just tucks right under. Easy peasy. Two pages. We have a pocket with another die cut that you can 
journal on, put a date on there. And we have an envelope that I've made. And a die cut of a, oh, it's the Peter Rabbit images, but I thought it was pretty. And he's got a label there. And then inside, he's got three journal cards. A frog that you can color, and then journal on the back. An index card, and a bug card. You can journal on the back. And they all took nicely into his envelope. And then this is the other page, the book page, with different animals on it. And again, it's hinged in some two pages white paper. Another side tuck. This one's got a heart die cut. Love one another. And the inside tucked in there is a love bug journal card. And you can journal on the other side. And a dot to dot journal card. And we have a corner tuck with this gorgeous image. I love this one. Jesus getting baptized. Jesus loves me and teaches me to be baptized. Jesus Christ set the example to be baptized. We, it's a pretty good example. An envelope that I've made and tucked behind it is this cute little monster journal card you can color and journal on the other side and another journal card. This is Tracy Fox. I just die cut it out. It just holds the flap down. And inside, we have a journal card that I've sewn to a bunch of random papers that you can journal on. Sewn them together. And it just goes right neatly into the envelope. And closes. And that is the baptism journal for this young man. I hope he likes it. I hope I can actually give it to him someday because this quarantine is making it impossible. That's okay. It's all right. I will hold it safely for him until I can see him again at church. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.